Hi, welcome to Voices in Transformation. Thanks for being here, both of you. Let's kick it off by asking you, give us an overview of how your manufacturing operations and factories are set up. Thank you so much, Maria. We have over 250 different factories and we are using our Unilever manufacturing system uh, integrated with our digital manufacturing and factory program to really make this work. Our top 100 sites, which account for the around two thirds of our turnover, are our key focus. And in these factories, we're already utilizing artificial intelligence, complex process modeling um, and automated optimization to really help us drive value and create much smarter operations. And within these 100 sites, we have our most critical 20 sites that we're really, really trying to push to the next level. Um, I'm delighted to be joined today by Tree, um, who is leading Coochie, uh, one of our incredible leading edge sites in Vietnam. Whenever I talk to you, I always forget how complex and how, you know, the breadth or scope of, of the operation that is Unilever. So it's, uh, it's important that you remind us this. And, and Tree, I want to hear all about it. I want to hear about what you're doing, but I know that you've been on a digital transformation journey for some time now. So maybe you can talk to us about the results you've seen and how you've seen those in the factory. Uh, thanks for the question. Uh, actually, we it is very uh, excited uh, journey that we have uh, gone through, and uh, the the people in the factory they they have a, a very strong feeling that um, very much connected to the business to the market. Yeah, so the factory is not a standalone operation anymore; it is fully connected, and they can stand on the need from the marketplace, from the customer, from the consumer, and immediately respond to that. And that uh, make us view that's uh, how we, I mean, make the value or bring the, the value to the business. That's thanks to the technology. The, yeah. So a few examples, uh, uh, we have the IoT platform that's uh, applying AI uh, to run the system. So it's not only to uh, to capture the data, but also generate the insight. So this is a communication uh, or uh, interface between the machine and the human. Yeah. So we can reduce 80% of our time uh, to, to diagnose or to analyze the data. So the system will generate the insight, the message, actionable act, uh, method to the people and work with the operator. And so that, that can optimize the, the time spent. And also, uh, we have uh, the fully connected to our supplier and to our customer as well. So knowing exactly what is the requirement and how our partner is working, and then we can sync with the operation in the factory. So that makes us a huge improvement in, in terms of uh, productivity. Yeah? So in terms of timing, we can reduce three times. Uh, productivity uh, is more than uh, twice uh, productivity improvement to this uh, application. Yeah, just a few examples to share with you. Well, so sounds exciting. Um, and um, maybe, Vicky, if you could tell us a little bit about, you alluded to the uni uh, Unilever manufacturing systems. Can you tell us how this tailored manufacturing program is a lever for operational excellence? Absolutely. So I think the, the Unilever Manufacturing System, or, or UMS creatively called for short, um, it really is our, our common program and our framework to really make sure that we are driving excellence really across our operations and really helps us bring together the, the human expertise, the processes and the tools, but really integrating that with our digital capabilities um, that we need to win. This has evolved over a number of years, and we're now taking this to, to new levels. Um, and additional you know, examples that this is really helping us unlock are things like um, how, you know, really by making sure all the different systems and processes are really operating to the maximum. Um, in, in cases like trees, we're now actually able to operate autonomous lights out factories where we're really able to significantly reduce the amount of intervention, reduce change over times, improve quality losses. We also have some fantastic progress on things like digital twins, uh, of things like our powder spray drying towers, and also close to my own heart, 
uh, the Dove Bar process, which is one of our most iconic products where we can control our Dove Bar processes across the world uh, remotely. So this Unilever manufacturing system essentially is our common toolkit or, or DNA of all the different tools and systems and processes uh, to really help us, you know, drive drive what the leading edge performance we need. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, and and tell me a little bit about the factories of the future, because you refer to some of your sites as factories of the future. What can we look forward to, you know, or, or see perhaps in the next phase of digital integration into your operations? We want to ensure that the, the factory is fully uh, connected and integrated to the entire value chain. Yeah. So it's not only, I mean, to 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 work with our customer, but it's also with our uh, partner, our supplier. Yeah. To sync all the operation. Yeah. So we connect different supply chain into one supply chain operate, operating plan. Yeah, so we have only one operating plan across the value chain. And second, uh, the factory have to be uh, able to work in real time and work on the scenario planning and transfer the scenario planning into execution and continuously optimize. And of course, it's about the... Uh, the, the, the quality, yeah. So at the end, the manufacturing does have to deliver the best uh, product to the market, yeah. So the the, the, the the factories are able to scan to 100% of the, our product to ensure that zero defect out from the production line, yeah. So that, that's just a, a few examples. And uh, another one that's about the interface between uh, human and machine. The machine nowadays will be much smarter, yeah? So they can interact with people. It's not just one-way uh, conversation. So there will be, I mean, the two-way conversation. Machine will generate the message, and people can generate the message, and they talk to each other, and they work seamlessly. We really see the, the, the boundaries of the factory of the future expanding to infinity. Um, as we look at our total digitization program across Una, Unilever, there are no boundaries. This really needs to be an infinity loop, uh, really can, starting absolutely with the consumer insight of the types of products and desires and needs that they have, translating that social listening through into, into the product or the need that they have, converting that into the product that they would love to buy um, and immediately creating the product, the packaging, the formulation that's needed through all of our R&D systems and our fantastic digital twins of our factories so that we are able to produce that product, you know, seamlessly and, and replanning and relearning and then really getting that all the way through our customers and into our consumers' hands by whichever is the channel. So I think, you know, over time for me, you know, for all of us and, and Maria, you and I have talked about this before, you know, this boundary of supply chain, you know, really just expands. I think the, the value and the magic will come by really connecting everything together from, you know, the need or the desire or the want or the, the need of the consumer and that ability through all of this connection and synchronization to really getting that into their hands, you know, in the way that they desire. And, and, you know, I know it's always a delicate balance, you know, to ensure that uh, tech and people and talent, you know, can coexist. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing uh, to do, you know, to manage that in your operations? This movement does have an impact on the organization structure that we need, the types of roles that we need, how the organization works, you know, starting from the team that you need to run a production line or a factory through to how do you actually run all these programs uh, together needs a totally different organization design. And that's one of the things, you know, we're reflecting as we change the organization going forwards. It has a massive impact on the skills that all of us need. So I think, you know, for every single one of us, there's a huge need to upskill and, and, and learn. And then I think also, and this is an area Tree has been doing a lot of work on in, in Vietnam, for example, the type of talent that, that we recruit, you know, and, and the type of experiences that we give them in their career is, is very much changing. But I think for me and, and for us, this is really one of the most important areas because, you know, the, the, the most important thing about the transition and the transformation and the change will be our team 
and the culture that we're able to create. Yeah. So it sounds like you've, you're striking a good balance. So yeah. Vicky, Free, thanks so much for sharing uh, with, with us on Voices in Transformation. I look forward to hearing more about this later on. Thank, Thank you. you.